This video is to show you how you add files to a project. So I'm just going to go through it all with you because I think that's useful to see. So to begin with, though, I am actually going to be setting up Lab 5. So I've got my folder structure set up like this. There is a Lab 5 folder, and inside this, I've already saved all of the files from the website. Now, some of these should actually be in my common directory, but I'm going to leave them here for now and purposefully make a mistake about where I add them so that I can show you later how you fix that. So for now, everything off of the website is in my Lab 5 folder. So now let me show you how you make the project. And this is covered in another video, so I'm going to do it fairly quickly. So file, new project, microchip embedded, standalone project, click next. And I want the advanced 8-bit MCUs. And the fastest thing is to type in the chip. So pick 18 f 46 k 42 It finds it, I select it, and the tool should be the simulator. Click Next, choose my compiler, click Next again, and I want to put this in my Lab 5 folder, so I'm going to browse to that. Click Open, and I'll give it a title. So Lab 5, and my name. I'll leave it set as the main project and one, two, three clicks down, UTF-8, and then finish creating that project. And I'm going to maximize this. And right now, in my header files and in my source files, I don't have anything added. So now I'm going to add those files from my Lab 5 folder. So to begin with, my header files, right click, add existing item. And I'm inside my project folder right now, so I have to go up one to find all of those files that I saved off the website. And for these ones, if they're inside my Lab 5 folder, I'm going to make a copy of them. So I click Copy here, and now I'm going to select all of my .h files, because I'm right now adding my header files. So I click the first one, and on a Windows machine, you hold down Control, and you can click the other H files as well. Click Select, and it's going to add them all for me now. And now we'll do the same for the source files. So right-click, Add Existing Item, it's still in the right directory, so click the first .c file, hold down control, click the rest of my .c files, and again I'm still going to create a copy of these inside my project directory, so I click select, and it's going to add those for me. Now it's a good idea at this point to go through your files and double check the code to make sure there isn't something else you need to add to your project. So for example, in my initialized lab5.h file, it says here that it's using the device config file as well. And I haven't added that to my project, so I should do that now. That's in my common directory. And by the way, I'm getting an error message here because my file structure is not quite set up the way the code assumed it would be. So I'm going to add dot dot slash here to go up one further directory, and that will fix it for me. So now I'm going to add my con device config files. So add existing item. And because I'm going to get these from my common directory, I'm not going to save a copy into my own project directory. And that's because, generally speaking, if it's in the common directory, you're not going to change it. So there's no point in having an identical copy of this in my own folder. So I'll navigate up into my common directory, and I'll go find my device config file. So there it is. Select that and add it. And I'll do the same thing for the C file. Now, just so you know, the reason why I say it's important to go through all your code and double check that you have added everything that you need is that I have actually accidentally created a project without adding my device config files, and it's still built with no errors, but then it behaved strangely. Specifically, my chip was rebooting about once every second, causing unexpected behavior. So the project's still built with no errors, even though I'd forgotten this device config. So that's why it's always a good idea to go through each of your files and double check that you have everything added to the project that you needed. So I'm going to do that now. I'll go through each file and just quickly check the include files. So this one looks fine. This one looks fine now. This guy doesn't have any include files. It's fine. The include files in the angle brackets, remember, are internal libraries, so you don't need to worry about those. They're already included. And this one is fine as well, so now I'll go through all my C files. Looks okay. Looks okay. 
And here I see that I need to change some stuff. So this is assuming that this stuff is going to be in the common directory. And again, MPLAB has to go up one further directory to find my common directory. So I add dot dot slash to the beginning of these. You'll notice, though, that it's still giving me an error message. And the reason why is that I still have those files here in my lab5 folder. But these ones right here at the bottom, they were supposed to be in the common directory according to the code. So this was an error I made. So I'm going to move those files from lab5 up into my common directory. So I'll cut those, go up a file, and paste them here. But of course, I also now need to fix things in my lab5 folder. Specifically in my project folder, I have a copy of those files in here. So I've got them in my common directory now. I'm going to delete them out of the project folder, go back to MPLAB, and now I've got an issue because I added those files, but they're no longer where I told MPLAB that they were going to be. So I need to remove these from the project and re-add them from my common directory. So I'll do that now. So remove from project. Again, right-click, remove from project, and do that for the C files as well. And now I have to add them back into the project from the common directory. So right-click, add existing item. I'm still in my common directory, and it was specifically PWM7 and timer2 that I want. And again, I don't need a copy because things that are in the common directory never change. So I'll just add a link to the file in the common directory. And do it again for the source files, add existing item, and go and find my two files and add them. And now I had been checking this file. I'm going to check all the rest of these here just again to make sure that there's nothing that I need to include in my project that I haven't done so already. So this one looks okay, this one looks okay, and this one looks okay. So there was nothing else beyond the device config files that I needed to add to the project. But like I said, it's always a good idea to go through all of your files at the beginning after you've created your project and just double check that there isn't something missing that you still need to add to your project. And you can tell that by looking at your include statements in the code.